<laughs> How's everybody That's doing? So sad. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. We're not doing the blocks today. We're just talking about you have, yes. You might have to edit your video because she's... Ah, she said that. So, what I like doing in the, in the case of something like this, because like uh, Mary was mentioning, you know, somebody like Neil Krizwodek, uh, and, and to a certain extent, not blocks, but like places like Studio and Caminati and stuff like that, they'll have, I mean, they'll do duotones and color studies for like a year. You know, wow. 300 of them. You know, it just... The quantity is where the, all the progress happens. So it's just like cranking out these studies left after right so that you're ingraining these processes into your eyes. And so if I was to look at this where, like where is the practicality of taking something like this and then bringing it out into things? And I think that there is, there's, there's literal translation and then there's metaphorical translation. So what I like, what I want to do today is, is just kind of take something like this. If we were going to start from scratch and look at these blocks and go, okay, well, I'd like to try and create some kind of visual dialogue. Like anytime you get into a particular class or anytime you might be arranging something yourself, it's like, okay, what's the point? Beside maybe some concept with literal content, you know, mm -hmm. second I bring like a liquor bottle and something, it, you know, there's already dialogue happening. Right. But um, aside from pure content as concept, I start thinking about, OK, like what kind of visual dialogues can I be having? So I might, you know, I might start by saying, well, that's a really like high contrast pressure that I can create right there. So if I wanted to maybe create something like that kind of pressure and build things around it that could sort of Peter to it, I could find moments where perhaps, you know, having this sort of lead up, maybe, and right now what I'm doing is I'm kind of squinting at things just to, I'm squinting at them so that I can see what kind of, uh, when I talk about these pressures, like what's the contrast happening here? So if I was to put something like this in there, is something like this green to pink comparison competing too much with this red to mm. teal comparison? And it, it doesn't necessarily, you know. So I could see, and, and what I'm trying to do here, and now I'm waffling, maybe something Maybe something like that. I wish that had a little bit more plane to it. So, so right now I'm like visually trying to create sort of like a sweep. And as, as a way of sort of getting to this high contrast, I'm seeing if I can create relationships along here. Right, so it's like these two will make this, so that will lead to there. These two will make this, so that will lead to there. Say that again, what you just said. Yeah, so the, the red and the yellow will make the orange. Okay. So, the, so that will lead visually, because we mm -hmm. see that just in the same way we would look at a color wheel. Okay. The blue and the yellow will make that green, so that visual sweep can kind of carry. So I'm trying to create a visual loop okay. that will bring us to... you know, a, mo a moment of clarity. And I'm kind of, like, part of me, like, so here's the, here's another thought here, is that should I, is it better to track that and not have that separation? Like, kind of like that, the way that is. Um, or it's the focal point. <laughs> it's the focal point. And I might even, you know, Maybe even something like having that there sort of completes the loop, but I can I can hide this, you know, sort of looking at right. If I if I divide that color with the green, then it's gonna create 
a closed or a, an open circuit there. If I let the shape continue and sort of allow that to carry through edge to edge, then I have more of a dialogue there. So I'm waffling on which I like more, right? Um, but the point with that being everything has a placeholder, right? I sure did. This is a great way to buy lunch. <laughs> Maybe read two ways. I'm waffling. We'll see about that. I thought you were just going to do every color of booze. But then we could really have a big stub line. red wine. So in this case, I'm using the stuff my kids like, these cheddars, right? <laughs> I just need a corner of it. I don't need much. <clears throat> my favorite bottle. See, okay, let's see what happens if I was to two, four, six, eight, nine. Odd number of objects is something, Always good. right? It's not a telltale rule. Like, it's not, nothing's going to break the bank if I do something like this. Right? Nothing's going to break the bank if I do that. There's actually something kind of poetic about having like a little lone soldier yeah. in the front, right? <laughs> um, That's good. And in a funny way, it's like I could see in that same way if I was thinking about the original concept, right? This pressure was the initial impetus. You can like mirror it with something like the sticker. You might say, "All right, I don't really want the sticker," right? Mm -hmm. It's like it, it's it's of no consequence one way or the other. But you know, and what I would probably do is. We're going to leave an homage in here. You get one block. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Right? Um, just starting to look at, now that we're in the game of like, okay, we, we, we sort of conceptually came up with a color idea. Now we're actually taking things. And then, so like in this case, the homage to this is lunch. <laughs> Right? Because after this is done, I'm going to eat the fruit. Chris will probably talk me into tequila, right? <laughs> I've got some crackers. Talk you in and yeah. Your yeah, yeah. I've got, I, I, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll have some crackers and cheese with it or whatever. It's a way to like take a color idea and then translate it into something else. But anytime you're coming up with things that have content, right? We move beyond abstract objects and we move into actual things that have content then all of that gets to be personal to whatever it is that you have significance of, with. I've become an enormous proponent of the idea that it is not your job as an artist to illustrate an idea. It's your job as an artist to illustrate your relationship to the idea, right? Like, I wanna talk about war, I wanna talk about love, I wanna talk about the house, I wanna talk about family. Okay, well, what about it to you, okay? Family's great. Family sucks. Family's okay. War is great. War sucks. War is okay, right? You get to, you have your stake that you start putting into that. And like, as a great example of this, I had a student once that she wanted to do a painting of the beach, the ocean. And I said, okay, well, where do you see yourself in that scene? Like, do you see yourself on the shore? Do you see yourself in the water? And the first thing she said, she went, oh, I'm terrified of being in the ocean. It's like, okay. That's an idea for an ocean painting that is unique to you. So that can inform your composition, it can inform your color, it can inform your design. Mm -hmm. So with this then, it becomes something where it's like, I'm creating this flow for contrast. 
In this case, we've got fruit that's not going to really bring us too much into the world of conceptual play beyond, I can look at like, you know, let's say we did that, pairs and not pairs, right? Why are, the, why are some things grouped and some things not? And then we have uh, objects that are going to usually like draw us back into an era of painting that has a spe specific kind of genre kitsch to it, right? Um, this can change it. What, what would be the thing that I would want to have the most uh, contrast dialogue with in this setup? Right. In a funny way, in this case, it's like we have like, you know, sort of like acidic and sweet. If I was to switch that with say like an apple and like a, I don't know, like a Carolina Reaper pepper or something like that. Like there could be like a, there could be a really bizarre dialogue that's <laughs> happening with fruit and vegetables, you know what I mean? So there's an opportunity to construct things based off of this. What I'm hoping that we can get out of with Henchy is we can move beyond these blocks and we can see color and color movement as something that has design and conceptual power, right? So you can get as literal as this, where you are using construction paper and blocks and objects to come up with some kind of abstract color design and move your way into content. Or you might get a stronger sense of how to apply color to the things that you're doing simply by doing the exercises. Does that make sense? Yes. So, you know, so with that, I guess what I would say is like, as we're getting into this, these objects probably are a lot more exciting to paint. <laughs> um, they're familiar, but I, but I would say Painting the blocks is probably a more familiar way for us to understand these objects than actually thinking about tomatoes and lemons and peppers well, they, and things like well, that. Well, they don't show, uh, well, the pepper from here is showing a darker side there. Um, so they don't show as much shadow. Right. right. Another, actually, that's a good point that you're bringing up. Because, like, another point that we can say is it's like, what if I was to create lighting as a contrast component mm -hmm. too, right? So it's like, all right, let's, let's literally illuminate the viewer on the point of contention, right? So whether you're doing things, whether it's like a landscape, a still life portrait, things like that, or you get into the world where you're, you're dabbling into the concept world of Rod Ryman and Cy Twombly and Rothko and all these kind of guys, you know, the design power at play can happen through the color. It can happen through the lighting, through the, the literal construction of the place markers, right? Does that make sense? Well, how does this lighting feel? It's better. Yeah. Yeah. Dramatic. Yeah. yeah, it is dramatic. Yeah, let's, well, all right, we'll have some dramatic. Let's have dramatic tonight. Let's have some dramatic time today. I need dramatic lighting all right. at all times. We'll get into it.